I've talked about the fact that I've been playing a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've been playing on PS5. I've been getting better and better. I'm learning all kinds of tricks. I'm learning all kinds of strategies. I'm getting points. I'm escaping from gas stations and slaughterhouses. So the way Texas Chainsaw Massacre works is that right now, I want to say there's three maps. I think there's three maps. I think you can escape the, the family home, the slaughterhouse, and the gas station. There are, I want to say, six or seven victims, of which you pick one and four play. And then there, I think there are like five or six uh, villains, you know, murderers, of which you pick one and three play. Well, just today, just today, before we get on here, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre account drops a video. And apparently, and Hot Dog, I told you, you kept telling me there was going to be a GTA 6. And there hasn't been. Do you have any explanation for that? No? Just, okay. Frozen, still topless. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Twitter account for the video game posted this video. I mean, are we excited? What are we seeing here? What are we looking at? I've played this game for hours. I've never seen any of this before. Whoa. And it says, stay tuned. It says, stay tuned. Listen, listen. This is the, these are the sounds from the game, but not the visuals. Already this landscape. I have never seen this before. This well I've seen before. There are many wells in the different parts of the game. This well I've never seen before. This gentleman who's approaching the door. I've never seen this gentleman before. I've played as multiple different characters. I've never seen this gentleman before, yet he approaches the door in this landscape that I've never seen before, right? Look at this house. I've not seen this, this beautiful ranch house before. I haven't seen it. And then he's knocking on the door from the outside. Who's there? I've never seen that woman before. It honestly looks like my grandmother, to tell you the truth. But look, apparently this is a tease that we're getting a, a new map and new characters added to this Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, which is amazing. The fact that we're getting this thing updated this quickly. Like, I feel like it, it only, this will be, what, two months after it comes out? And we're already getting updates on it? We're already getting, and not just like, like updates of like, you know, there are new skins or new chainsaws or whatever, but a whole new map. Characters added to the thing. I'm thrilled. Now, I'll tell you what I'm getting from this whole thing. Because they have already in the game the house from the movie, right? The, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. They already have in the game. I am getting big Silence of the Lambs vibes from this house. I'm getting big Buffalo Bill vibes. Now, this is great because Buffalo Bill and Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, when they say based on a true story, it's based on the same true story. It's all based on Ed Gein. Ed Gein inspired the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ed Gein inspired Buffalo Bill and Silence of the Lambs. Ed Gein inspired Psycho, Norman Bates. Ed Gein did all of this. These are three completely different movies. Although, in both Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Silence of the Lambs, be it Hannibal Lecter, they wore flesh on their face. And I don't think that they wore flesh on a face in Psycho, but Norman Bates did dress up as his mother. So, so you've got that going for you. Now, I'm getting big Buffalo Bill vibes in the sense that like, I would imagine that although this house looks, I'm going to go as far as to say idyllic. I will go as far as to say that this house looks idyllic. I'm going to imagine that underneath the house, there's some kind of a well, there's some kind of a bucket and pulley system, some kind of a, a lotion request going on. Like, doesn't this, even the way like, they open the door. Like, doesn't that look like Buffalo Bill? Oh, is she a great big fat person? 
Like, doesn't that look like that's what we're seeing? I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting those vibes. Maybe I'm missing something. But I'm getting big, like, we're expanding this Texas Chainsaw Massacre universe, and we're going full Silence of the Lambs. And this is great because, like, could you make a Buffalo Bill video game? I don't know. It'd be tough. It'd be tough to announce to everybody, hey, plunk your $40, $60, $80 down and buy this Silence of the Lambs, the video game. But if you can make Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of look like Silence of the Lambs, it's just as good. And then you do get, because, like, Silence of the Lambs, like, if they actually made a Silence of the Lambs video games, video game, it would be so boring. It would be monotonous. Because you know what you'd have to do? You know what they'd concentrate on? They wouldn't concentrate on Buffalo Bill. They wouldn't concentrate on getting out of the well. They would concentrate on, like, solving Dr. Lecter's puzzles. You'd have to solve riddles and piece clues together. Do you hear the lambs, Clarice? You know, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what he meant by that. And you're, you're sitting there. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I just want the climax from that movie in video game form. That's all I want. All I want. Basically, here's what I want. I want the, the uh, beginning of the game to start with knocking on his door. Like this is all the uh, pre credit stuff, right? And I want the real game to start as soon as Buffalo Bill throws down the business cards. When he just kind of bleh, bleh, drops the business cards down on the floor and then shuts off the electricity and puts on those night vision goggles, that, that is the game that I want. And I feel like there's a good chance that that's what we're getting. I don't know anything more than any of anyone else knows. Basically, all of us here tonight for Sam Roberts now know exactly the same thing. You've all seen the teaser. I've seen the teaser. This is what we're getting. We don't know when this is coming. Some people are hoping it comes this week. Some people think it'll be another month. Some people, it will, maybe it'll be a Christmas miracle. Who knows? I mean, if they're not put, dropping it soon, then I don't know why they bothered with this teaser, unless it was just like people were starting to lose interest in the game. And now when this comes out, they're like, oh, if there's going to be a new map, I got to make sure that my uh, that my chops are up. So I don't know, but uh, I'm hoping. Now it looks here, if this is indeed the map, it looks here like there's not that much because the idea would be that you'd escape through that fence, right? Like that fence looks like it's going to be the road, but there's a well right there. Now in the game, basically the wells are there so you can escape the killers. Like if you jump down a well, it's going to send you all the way back down to the basement, but the killer won't be on your ass anymore. So I don't know if you're supposed to escape through that gate and jump down the well. I don't know. Maybe they're going to do it, Sounds of the Lamb style. Maybe they're going to go full Buffalo Bill. And in this version, you start at the front door. I doubt it. I feel like this is going to be the escape and we're just showing it this way. But look, if, if, if the reason this came out was because you wanted me to speculate upon it, congratulations. Congratulate. Give yourself a round of applause. You did it. You got me thinking. Hot dog, what's your take on this? Are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Still frozen. Still topless. But excited. Yeah. I'm going to be a master. I'm going to be a master at this. Now, the only thing is about this the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is you can't, as of now choose what map you're playing on, right? It just pops up. Everything's random. You pick your character, but you can't choose the map you're playing. So it's kind of brilliant. They'll get everybody playing again, just hoping they get the new map and they can master it, become masters of it. It's great. Somebody, Kevin's saying that uh, uh, that fence isn't real. Well, none of it's real. It's all uh, uh, created, right? This is all animation. But then, really... That fence isn't real, but what is real? What, I mean, from a postmodernist perspective, what is real? Hot dog, have you thought about that before? No? Just topless and frozen. Okay. All right. Well, no, 